Randy Johnson, the bad guy is Barry Bonds, goes for 700 home runs. The big unit and the big banger squaring off in the desert. Three of Bonds' 698 homers have come against the left-hander. These two go way back, back, back to college when Johnson was at USC and Bonds was at Arizona State. Bonds against Johnson this season, 222 average. That's two for nine, two singles, and a couple walks. Johnson just 12 and 13, but a 280 ERA top two. Bonds, first pitch swinging, flies out to left on the warning track. Randall David Johnson celebrating his 41st birthday with some fourth inning fireworks. 2-2 two -two count. Bonds back off. Upper back, Bonds is down. Johnson had brushed Bonds back a couple pitches earlier. That was Barry's daughter. Didn't want to see her daddy hurt. He's a tough guy. Takes the 95-miler right in his back. Stays in the game. Tried to get out of the way, but he's got the look on first. Top seven. Bonds facing Johnson. No score. Came in 14 for 47. 298 career average against the unit. He singles to right. He later scored on your Alba's single. Doug DeVore, two-run homer, put Arizona up 2-1. Top eight bases empty. Giants down that run. And Bonds is intensely walk, 198th walk of the season, ties his own record. Two on, Marquise Grissom, not going to happen. The Diamondbacks get the win and a seven-game losing streak. 2-1, your final. Randy Johnson, a four-hitter. Well, here are the next two pitchers that Barry Bonds will face this weekend in Arizona as he goes for 700 on Saturday. It'll be lefty, Stephen Randolph. Bonds, three for five against him with a home run. And on Sunday, it'll be Brandon Webb. First game after getting their 12 game winning streak snap on him for Jason Kendall off of Pete Monroe to center. Carlos Beltran has it. His throw in there hits right off the mound and the Ty Wigginton scores. The Pirates have a 4 1 lead. Bottom five, Jason Bay to left. Craig Biggio is at the wall. Bay with a shot to tie the Pittsburgh record for home runs by a rookie, but Biggio taking a home run and some history away from Jason Bay. Top six. Rookie John Van Benscoten facing Beltran on the 1-6-3 DP. The Pirates win 6-1. Van Benscoten, first round pick, making his fifth start, allows just one run on five hits and eight, gets his first major league win. Nice job. Poppy, David Ortiz, solo shot is 37, 22nd home run on the road. That's the most in the American League, 3-2 Boston. Manny's up in the seventh, and they are loaded. And then he unloads his second home run of the game, 40th of the season, 13-2 Red Sox as Kurt Schilling wins his 19th. Ichiro 0 for 4, Boston 2 and a half behind the Yankees. Anaheim's got a better race going with Oakland in the West than they do with Boston in the wild card. Bottom seven score tied. Runners on the corners for Vlad Guerrero, John Atkins, and that's Vlad's 30th of the season. Sixth time in his last seven seasons, he's pounded 30. Three run shot, 5 2. But top eight were tied. Man on third, Joe Creedy, Francisco Rodriguez. Chopper down to third, Sean Figgins. Barehanded grab, how you like that? Inning over. Bottom eight tied. Two on for Garrett Anderson. 2 2 pitch from Damaso Marte. Right over Creedy's glove, two score, and the Angels win the ball game 7-5 and a two-game losing streak. They're 9-3 and three in their last 12 homers. Ballad by the band Chicago. It's also a question the Marlins were asking in Chicago. The answer is Chicago. Florida will host Montreal at the White Sox field Monday and Tuesday. Hurricane weather forcing the venue change. The Expos couldn't accommodate motocross at their stadium. Marlins already on the city's north side for a series against the Cubs, so why not stay the night? First game of two scheduled. Cubs shut out Thursday facing their 2003 NLCS opponent. Scoreless third, Kerry Wood, Luis Castillo lay down Sally. Ramon Martinez can't make the play. Second error of the inning, bases loaded. Miguel Cabrera two on through the infield. Two run score. Marlins up two nothing. Wood six runs, four earned, 11 hits, six innings. Three nothing. Polo Duca two on in the sixth. Pops to right. Corey Patterson and Sammy Sosa. Oh, fellas, this is just it, no communication. Gets us in trouble all the time. Neither make the play. Two score, five nothing. Ruled a single. Carl Pavano in the seventh, facing former teammate Derek Lee. How you like me now? Pavano looking to finish off the Cubs, facing Sammy Sosa. Gets him a second time. Pavano complete game, six Ks. 
Marlins 7 0. Mark Pryor, 11 months ago, was his last time pitching against the Marlins at Wrigley. That's the game where the fan tried to catch the ball and the curse continued. I think we all remember that. Juan Encarnacion, Mark Redman, and Logan Kensing all go down in the second. Pryor's cruising. 1 0 Cubs, bottom third, two on, no out. Moises Alou, get out! His 34, three run shot, and it's 4 0 Cubs, and if some is good, more is better. Next batter, Aramis Ramirez. Back to back checks. Oh. 30th home run, and Cubs are up a five spot. Top six, Pryor. Miguel Cabrera. Oh, nothing. Fifth K. Jeff Conan. Sixth K. 11 2 Cubs in the eight. eight. And Pryor. Eight Ks on the day, and the Cubs win at 11 2 and get the split against the defending World Series champs. Padres, four straight road losses coming into Coors Field Friday. Ryan Klesko, 280, seven homers, 57 driven in coming in. Top one off There's Sean Estes, and there it goes. Three run shot is eight. Klesko thrilled to be out of Petco Park, even if it's just for one night. Three nothing San Diego. Top five, Khalil Green to third. Garrett Atkins, diving play. Atkins, the 18th rookie used by the Rockies this season. Been a long year. Padres down 4 3 in the seventh. Here's Green. Three run shot is 13th. Uh, former Red Sox great Tim Pericula. <laughs> Padres win 10 4. Here's the National League wild card heading into the weekend. Cubs on top by mere percentage points. Despite splitting a doubleheader, the Cubs and Marlins actually gained ground because the Astros and Giants both lost. The Padres continue to hang around just a game and a half back. And athletics began the night up two in the West despite dropping four straight. 11th inning tied. Runners on the corners, two outs. Omar Vizquel pops it up to left. Nick Swisher with a crazy little thing called glove. If it was a top 10 night, that would be a top 10 nominee, and I wouldn't even ask anybody. Inning over. Bottom 11. Eric Chavez, two outs, bases loaded. Lines it to right. Jody Garrett to the window, to the wall. That's where Garrett is in the inning over again. Top 12. Still tied. Casey Blake, bartender. Jack! His 26 4 3 Indians in extras, and the Athletics have lost five straight ball games. So here's what it looks like in the American League. Angels pick up a game on the Athletics and are now just a game back. The Red Sox never lose two in a row anymore. That's what it says here. They remain five ahead of the Angels in the wild card race. The Yankees in Baltimore looking for their sixth straight win, but umpire Ed Rapuano has got an issue in the third inning. The Oriole mask, oh, come on, get down. You can't do it, we're playing a game. Javier Vasquez, 3-0 against the Orioles this year. Bottom three. Owes the bases full, and Vasquez walks Miguel Tejada. Larry Bigby comes in, and it's 3-3. And the wheels just come off for Vasquez. Next up, it's Raffi, and he plunks Palmero. Brian Roberts scores 4-3. You're not going to see this on Vasquez's Yankeeography, I'll tell you that. <laughs> he gave up eight earned in two and a third. Orioles win 14-8. Vasquez 0-3, 9.99 ERA in his last five starts. So the Yankees lose a game to Boston now, just two and a half up on the Red Sox to top the American League East. Rafael Fercal was arrested on drunken driving charges Friday. It's his second DUI arrest in four years. Fercal was also charged with speeding and reckless driving and spent much of Friday in two different jails after he was clocked doing 88 and a 55. There's also the matter of a probation violation stemming from Fercal's arrest four years ago on similar charges. A court hearing was set. For October 8th, so are the baseball playoffs. Stay tuned. For call not playing against Montreal Friday. Didn't even arrive at the ballpark until about 90 minutes before game time. Bottom one, John Patterson walks Chipper Jones, and he's not happy about it. Next up, it's Johnny Estrada, and now he's really not happy. Three-run shot off the foul pole. Number nine for Estrada. Braves lead 3-1. Patterson gave up four runs on six hits and six. Here's Marcus Giles. Hasn't homered in 164 at-bats. That's the longest drought of his career. Bottom five, solo shot yeah. six. 
Atlanta wins 4-3. They snap a three-game losing streak. Now a comfy 7.5 up on Florida atop the National League East. That's a done deal. Giles was dry. He needed that shot. Best record in baseball belongs to St. Louis at Los Angeles. Top three cards down a run. Scott Rowland, bases loaded. And fouls Kazashi's 2-2 pitch off the right chin. He'd already homered in this game earlier. Next pitch. Well, he's a greedy bugger. He's going for three more RBI. Double to right center. St. Louis goes up 4-2. Rowland would leave the game in the next inning because of a bruised right shin from that fouled off pitch we showed you bottom three Adrian Beltre two on two out bat scratch fever 13th home run in his last 26 games coming off Jason Marquis who gave up three homers Beltre's 45th home run of the season bottom seven tied Steve Finley off Kiko Calero 0 2 pitch his 32nd and the Dodgers are up 7 5 bringing the Gagne top eight bases loaded Two out, Marlon Anderson, Gagne induces the ground ball, and just earns his 39th save, and the Dodgers win at 7-6, their fourth straight win, and their first win in four tries against the Cardinals. Well, we do the top 10 and stuff, but on Fridays, we do the hardly the usual top 10. It's really the worst of the whole week, the week's most embarrassing moments, and we count them down, and we start at number 10, Friday's Brewers-Reds game. Reds in the double steal. Here comes Adam Dunn. you got to pay attention when you're at home plate. Because Adam Dunn's a big guy. He'll come in and he'll level you. Dunn steals home. Number nine, number nine, Fridays, Brewers, Reds, Jeff Jenkins, homers. That's good, but the fella in right field. Oh, the mug shot. Dude, bring your glove. That hurts. Finland, Germany. The Finns taking on the Germans. There's the referee. Gets Tries to get out of the way. Checked right into the bench. A little mini backflip. He's into box, feeling shame. At number seven, this is clearly piling on. It's that Oregon State kid again, Alexis Cerna, who's big in the bayou, not so much in Corvallis. Keep it going. And he missed it. Tigers win the game. Holy cow. Number six, Royals Tigers twin bill Thursday, and Casey crushes Detroit 26 5 in game one. Then in game two, they get shut out. So it's 26, one game, nothing in the other game. You, you with me? Well, if you 13 per, that's not bad. Yeah, that's true. So this, now, this is bad, number five, because it was Sunday at the U.S. Open and Olvera Zivana Reva. She actually won the first set, and then she just kind of had a breakdown. Said, said afterwards, well, I kind of had a breakdown. And if I played better, I wouldn't. And Elena Dementieva won. And, and then she beat Jennifer Capriotti. She's in the finals, and we're not sure if Olvera is even done crying. Clear case of Zorana Raver dementia. But <laughs> number four, extreme bull riding. Coming out of shoot number one, it's Davey. Oh, mess with the bull, you get the horns. Number three, you mess with the water. Well, you get well, you get this. It's Ian Woosman at Woosnam at the German Masters. <laughs> I've been at the 19th hole, and that's where Ian's going to go now. He just picks up the ball and says, let's go. I'm out. He got DQ. Phil's Braves Thursday. Charles Thomas deep to right center. Jason Michaels is the, oh, he got it twice up and into the stands. We're an alert Braves fan. <laughs> There's such a thing was uh, on hand to catch the ball. Number one. Thursday, Missouri, Troy State. Oh, oh, an offensive lineman taking it all the way. He scored. That is an unbelievable play. Detroit Tigers played two Thursdays. The Twins had the day off. Top third, Mike Moroth lost three straight starts. But he picks off Jock Jones there. He's 0 2 this season against Minnesota. Two pickoffs in the game. How many times do we show a guy get picked off at first and then doing something at the plate? But whenever we edit it that way, we edit it in the top of the seventh. Jones ground ball off Carlos Pena's glove. Terry Tiffey scores 4 1. And then J.C. Romero. How about this guy? Scoreless inning streak. Now 35 and two thirds gets Bobby Higginson. Twins win. 4-1.